Hey, hey, today is a new sci-fi set piece, part one, the console made with lasers. <laughs> the Algo laser, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. how's it going? Anthony Ferraro here, Great Sci-Fi. Well, today I get to work on a big project, right? So this is a console for my new sci-fi film sort of like a one man in a ship. So the console needs to be very specific to things in the script, like fuel and some buttons he's got to beep boop bop. So we're making this, but because we're sponsored by the Algo Alpha Laser, I wanted to go ahead and run it through its paces. I'm not like a laser engraver channel, right? So it's not like, oh, three millimeters of this and oh, this diode and this software and stuff. It's more just practical, like a lot of you. So this is, you know, the last video, the unboxing, you can see all the specs on that. And here quickly is what's cool about the Algo Laser. And now a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by the good people at Algo Laser. Unlike most 20 watt machines, the laser uses technology that compresses the laser spot from a rectangle to a nearly perfect square. It's as small as 5 hundredths of a millimeter, which gives the laser all its precision and power. What's impressive is its ability to cut different thicknesses of materials, and it's much faster and more efficient than other lasers with a much higher output level. Check out the link in the description for more information. And now back to our regularly scheduled video. Video. You know, I'm not making keychains and bless this house signs. I want to make sci-fi. <laughs> so here's where we're at so far. I'm going to show you how I got to here. Um, it's really cool, this process too. And I, and I think I talk about a lot on this channel how, for me, a lot of the stuff I do is very weathered and rustic and sort of lived in. So with the laser, I was able to get some nice clean lines that typically my work does not have. So I'm excited to move forward with this. It's a little 3D printing, a little lasering, little duct tape. <laughs> so let's get into uh, cutting stuff up with the laser and making this cool console. All right, nothing better than to start off the day, or in this case, end the day in a little woodworking. <laughs> All right, so I need to make a box, right? It's always, everything's basic, basic shapes, basic, things and then you complicate them and detail them as, as much as you're able or as much as you want to. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of how I look at it, right? So now I'm just making a box. Uh, you know, I was a woodworker as a kid, you know, a lot of kids on construction sites and stuff. By far, any sort of woodworking skill, I just know how it works. The main thing I ever learned, most of you probably know this, but pretty much the best thing I ever learned is glue is stronger than nails. And when you build stuff with wood, if you break it apart, it's typically not going to break where the glue is, right? So here I'm just sort of rounding over the edges because I can guarantee you without checking, this is not square. <laughs> I'm okay with that. This is not a cabinet for my house. This is a one day film set. And, you know, so it's rough and tumble, but okay, like, you know, it has to meet this certain standard, right? It can't be wobbly, but I'm not gonna kill myself if it's square because it doesn't matter. Do I not care? Yes, I care, but I care in the big picture about the film, right? So this is a component, right? Divide and conquer. So here are these screws, I'll take them out later. This is just so the glue can set because I'm gonna probably set this aside in my cramped shop and I certainly will knock into it. <laughs> So here I got the Japanese pull saw, just squaring it off, because like I said, it was not square. And here I just roughly, I'm making these angles so that the back of the console can sort of sit up on an angle. Nothing crazy, skill saw. Most of the tools you see me using are from Harbor Freight, or as Vice Grip Garage says, Hobo Freight. And, you know, for somebody like me, you know, jack of all trades, master of none, Harbor Freight tools are great because I don't use a skill saw every day, right? So having one around when I need one is pretty awesome. So just squaring stuff up, again, making an effort to make it square. I'm not gonna go crazy if it's not plumb, perfectly square. This is not the Duresta channel, <laughs> although I wish it was. And now I just got a scrap piece there and I'm putting this all together with this press board, hardboard, it's basically the cheapest lumber you could get and it's 
It's perfect for this because all I need is the form factor that I'm going to build on, right? And we have our algo laser now. So once I have this form factor, it's with the algo laser that I am going to be detailed. But having said that, first we hop into 3D printing. I know a lot of you clench up when I do 3D printing. <laughs> it's a component. I don't know. All these tools are at my disposal. And these days, you know, a lot of this stuff is not cost prohib prohibitive. I mean, I don't have a lot of money. And, you know, I acquire these tools as I need them. 3D printer, you know, there's a lot of money, but I've had it for a couple of years now and I've definitely got my money's worth. So for certain components, I want to use it like this in the script. There's a moment where it's like, oh, we're we're almost out of fuel, right? So I have to take the time to make some kind of fuel gauge that when I do a close up with the camera, it's fine, right? And then I just 3D printed. Now these switches and knobs in another channel, I might cast those and just so I can make multiples. So now how I'm gonna do the screen, these are from Timu, these are like five bucks. They're for tracing for artists. So that's gonna be the backlight for the fake sort of display panels. And that's a cheap option because then I don't have to do, you know, computer screens and iPads. I can have um, a green illuminated source and I'll show you how we do that. And then here are just some things that I've been collecting in prep for this. I got the electrical tape, those flexible keyboards. All this stuff is from Timu, which to me, I've said, this is the only repurpose piece, that um, joystick. So the stuff from Timo, I've said this before, is kind of like my online dollar store, right? And then that's the mystery piece right there. I don't want to tell you what that's for. And then gel, and that's going to do that fake uh, computer screen that I told you about. So here's just a look at the loot. Those nuts for, uh, for electricity, I'm going to actually use those as knobs. Those I got from a thrift, like an electronic thrift store, those square lights. I got those when we were making Wakener. And again, you know, when I do other projects, I always save stuff. So here, right, we've got to visualize. Just taking some painter's tape, and I'm just looking at the screen. I have the artist reference, which is the AI art that I generated to give me sort of a loose target. And now I'm just taking tape, and I'm writing down, like, oh, I think here will be the keyboard. And, um, some dials here. We need a screen here. And then... You wouldn't know this because you don't know the script. There's certain things that there's like two or three things on here that are specific to the script, right? That have to be there. So here, you know, that looks like a first grader did it, <laughs> you know, and that's, but that's all I need, right? And then slowly we're going to laser cut the pieces and we're going to replace that and we're going to chip away at this, right? Bit by bit, inch by inch. So now I'm using a laser cutter. Got a little heavy metal smoke. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> now with this press board, because it's all like glued together, I definitely make a lot of smoke and almost like glue sap. But there, like that fine dial, and then I take uh, these electronics caps, which are not, right? It's like they look like dials, but you don't clock them as the dials you see every day. And that's what kind of makes it unique, makes it a special thing for our sci-fi for like $2. And then now for this next piece, what, what's that? Oh, right. <laughs> I wrote a book about filmmaking, everything I talk about on this channel. Check out the link below. All right. So now this is uh, going to be sort of the main dial board. What it does on the console looks cool. I don't have no idea what it does. And then all that um, sort of the holes and the lines, I pretty much did that all in the light burn software, which is the software that most people use. To laser cut and it's really nothing crazy like anything else with a new tool it's all about like dialing in the settings right so here's the fun part so now i'm gonna take my mapped blue tape and then replace it with a real piece right so now this becomes very satisfying right it's like setting myself up for dopamine hits <laughs> and then here's the tag the ship is called the expat so little things like this, again, in storytelling, this detail of the uh, ship, like I said, it's a, this would be a hero thing because a few times in the script, they'll say, you know, the, the ship is called the expat. And then just in the background there, when he's at the console, you'll see that that'll reinforce that we're telling stories, right? So here's these square buttons. I got them from like a 
like an electronics goodwill <laughs> apex and again those are from a project from like two years ago and i had them on hand and then now that we're cooking on the on the laser engraver cutter the algo i'm like okay you know i think off screen i probably did a couple tests to get the right diameter for the for those buttons knobs and then now right so we're going from non-square kind of crazy um base unit right the the desk itself and then now i'm laser cutting these components that or are i'm going to fit onto here and it's going to make the whole thing look fancy <laughs> and then there i just spent some time like i have this many white ones this one red and green and i was just like okay you know this is when you think about it i think i want the green red and green and then the whites on the bottom because whatever that means somebody will assign that in their head what that means all i know is i took that time to think about it now i'll never think about it again so here's what i was saying about these wire nuts uh putting them on this sort of dial board do you see what i mean now like your your brain is definitely those are dials but they're a little different than what you're used to see them and then that makes them futuristic right maybe that sounds simple but it's really sort of the, the way that I that I approach these projects, right? There's my 7-Eleven coffee in the background. <laughs> I bought too much wood. I couldn't afford Starbucks. And then now these frames are what's going to frame those light backers that I showed you earlier. And then there'll be like a piece of green gel. And I'll just photo print on there like some text or something that looks like a, like a radar screen. And, you know, we'll do that in, a, in the next video. So here, just cutting out and just loving with the laser cut, right? So it's like that desk, like I said, it's just kind of like this clunky thrown together thing. But now as we add these components, the whole thing comes to life, right? You got to sort of pick your battles. So now these blue ones are a little bit smaller, but again, and my, th my thing about this is I always love... I put this all together and then when you set the actor you cast the actor and you put them in front of it you never know what they're gonna do right what they're gonna be boop bop with or their hands gonna go to and that's always kind of fun here's the air quotes beauty shots here's where we are so far that's pretty good in the next video we're gonna go ahead and dress this all up but yeah that's a great start yeah i mean lasers so this is a big project. So I have everything done. Now it's just a matter of double checking. Okay, is this gonna work here? These gauges, gluing that all together, doing the final layout and hearing everything and then doing the paint job. And this is sort of like, there's always like for me in my sci-fi, there's always one set piece that's kind of like another character. So he's gonna spend a lot of time here. So this is a, a, a hero. It's a prop, it's a set piece, uh, but, it's, it, but it's definitely a hero piece. So it was nice to be able to do that with the laser. So uh, again, thanks to Algo Laser uh, for sponsoring us. All the links are below. Um, we got the Delta Laser coming up. And in the next video, uh, it's gonna be painting and weathering, the fun, the fun stuff. So as always, I hope you found this useful. Like, subscribe, check out the merch, but <laughs> I got an avatar for that. So remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. Kick it to the avatar. Hey, I'm just the avatar, but you might want to check out this video, maybe that video. For sure, subscribe if you haven't, and check out the merch. Buy some merch that really helps. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the avatar. Ha <laughs> ha!